Hi there, I'm Erin Ireland, and welcome to Nova's Free Talk. Stephen Harper says that HST will improve the competitiveness of Canadian businesses, but 82% of British Columbians are opposed to the new tax. So let's see what people here at the Richmond Night Market have to say, and perhaps they have some clever ideas on how to save some moolah. Can you tell me what HST stands for? Uh, higher citizen? Not even citizen. Higher <laughs> service tax? Higher service tax, yes. HST. Uh, hell, sh tax. <laughs> I don't know if we can hear that. I really don't know what it stands for, to tell you quite honestly. Hippies standing trumpfantly. Harmonized sales tax. Uh, good, you don't seem too sure about that. No, but I think so. Harmonized sales tax. Harmonized sales tax. Harmonized sales tax. Very good, did you learn that in school? No. <laughs> Harmonized sales tax. Alright, yeah. and how do you feel about it? Uh, obviously not too happy about it. The only way to uh, fix things is to clean house completely. I wonder if your little girl here agrees with you. How do you feel about HST? Good. No, you don't like it. <laughs> Say you don't like it. I think she's for it. People are going to go broke, especially seniors, okay, that are on a fixed income. I think they spend way too much on stuff they don't really need to pay on. Like that little track they made where the, Olymp the Olympian died, it's like a hundred million dollars for that thing. Am I supposed to be happy about more taxes? No, I don't think so, but you could make every hospital up to date, every school up to date for the price of the roof going on BC Place that we don't need. I really hate the way it was implemented and I think it's incredibly corrupt the way it was done. About bartering, like asking for deals. Exactly, Craigslist, barter. In Vancouver is the most of uh, the highest uh, living standard here comparing to other provinces. They didn't lower like taxes on alcohol but rose everything else on food. I think food is more important than like drinking. But Speak for yourself. <laughs> oh wait, what did you say? Did you say food is more important than drinking? Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you. <ya>. So, <laughs> sorry, I misheard you. Even ourselves, who've got children in university, that's a lot more money for us to be putting out. We should scrap this tax, uh, especially for my like young people like myself. We're trying to get established, like starting off a career. And they put the taxes now on necessities for people. Put it back. I didn't mind paying that little bit extra tax going out to a restaurant on the alcohol. So, can you give us any uh, creative ideas on how to save money or maybe make some extra money? Uh, yeah, do everything under the table. Eat at home, cook at home. Rice, ramen noodles, oatmeal. Yeah, I like Western food better, but yeah. Would you call oatmeal Asian? No. Reuse things? <laughs> reuse things, like maybe re-gifting, like maybe give used gifts for, for birthdays and that kind of thing. How about getting a job in the food service industry because you'd probably get free food? I already work in the food industry, kind of. Where is work? I work at Pizza Hut. Don't you have some healthy toppings that you can eat? I think it's all frozen. I don't think they're even like fresh either. This is like investigative reporting. This is probably how I get fired. In my own I better job. not air this. I'll yeah. edit it out. Don't worry. Right on. Right. Well, you mentioned drinking, and I suggest maybe pre-drinking instead of you know going out to the bars or maybe looking for the drink specials. Well, absolutely, pre-drinking at home, okay? I mean, people need to be doing that, but even now, I think that now in the bars, they took that. If you go to the restaurant now, before there was like an alcohol tax, okay? Now there's, they've cut that back. Uh, buy one, take one on that. <laughs> buy one, take one! You can buy your Christmas presents in July, you know, sale time. We do that. We do that too. How about stretching time between haircuts and uh, perhaps staying oh, I in? Do. I do. Oh, I do already, okay. If you live on a farm, I think you have it way easier. You can grow your own vegetables. Can you suggest some other inexpensive food? Potatoes, <laughs> I guess. Potatoes. Yeah, potatoes yeah. work well. HSC does cut down those options a little bit. I ate enough ramen noodles when I was in university. Yeah. <laughs> Put the heat low. <laughs> some ways to make some extra money, like volunteering for a medical study. Would you ever do that? Yeah, actually, I would. There really isn't a way to. People are going to scam you no matter what. Not Costco. Not Costco? No. no. Not the bulk section at Save on Food. You got me there. I'm not going to mouth off too much, or else I'll say something stupid and I'll see myself tomorrow going, F I shouldn't have said that. So. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm the editor. But thank you for your comments. My comments are, thanks for interviewing me. <laughs> One of the best ways to save money is to come here to the Richmond Night Market and eat at this inexpensive ethnic market. There's so much food, dragon beard candy, deep fried cheesecake, deep fried Oreos, dim sum, the list goes on. Anyways, that's it for today on Nova's Free Talk. Thanks for watching.